I've always just had faith that it would work out the right way. There are the expectations, and, and they're always unrealistic. When I go out on the court, it's like I'm free. I can coach. That's about as nice as it gets. stress that you put on yourself is much more than what somebody else puts on you. I always say I've got more desire to win in my little finger than all the North Carolina people that have ever lived. Oh my God, I'm telling my stories. <laughs> we had some really fancy furniture here, but Wanda said since you were coming, that she, she got out the bad stuff. Yeah. In case I take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use that line. I'll give you credit for it. I do have some pictures. There's at least one picture in the house of a golf group that he's in. I'll make sure you see it. He did play at one time. Not very well. <laughs> you know, when you were a kid and uh, you were in the Asheville area, right? In your wildest imagination, did you ever think you'd be going to Carolina? You know, it's crazy, Billy, because I just wanted to be like my high school coach. I'm, I'm serious. I wanted to be like him. Right. And uh, I wanted to be a high school coach, and I was for five years. And, uh, and then Coach Smith asked me to come back as, as part-time assistant, which full-time job, part-time pay is the way he explained it, and he mm -hmm. was right. And then I'm making $16,000. Wanda's going to make 14000 and then Coach Smith asked me to come back for 2700 And you know, I said, okay. <laughs> the greatest the best, yeah, you know, <laughs> downward move in your life, right? You know, because I trusted him. And I remember I went in to tell Wanda about it. And I said, we got to have a discussion. Coach Smith has asked me to come back and be the part-time assistant. And she says, what does that mean? And I said, full-time job, part-time pay. Mm -hmm. And she said, how much pay? And I said, $2,700. And she said, let me get this straight. We're going to make about 30 together this year. We just got a brand new house that's less than a year old. We have a little boy that's just a year old. Scott. She says, okay, when do we leave? Straight up, straight up, straight up, hand up, box, box, box. The legacy is unbelievable here. Coach worked hard to get there, but you got to appreciate where where it started. I had a sister that was great and a mother that was the angel of the world. My father was gone. It wasn't the most pleasant thing, but it was there was love there. But all of a sudden, having the, the, the basketball family here at North Carolina was so big and so loving, and it was something that I did really love. And then when I became Coach Smith's assistant, I felt it even more. And uh, that relationship was something that money can't buy. Whatever Coach Smith said to Coach Williams from the first day he hired him until tomorrow, Coach is going to take it to heart. Coach Smith allowed Roy Williams to reach this kind of success. Come on, Joel! Come on, Joel! Atta boy! All right, but hold up. But Joel, you just run in there. Den Denzel's got to take you, and it opens it up for James Michael there. My first impression of him was just how intense he was. He always says, I don't care about your feelings when we're playing. Come on, Bryce! Good! Righty! God dang it. <laughs> yeah, Coach is very competitive. That goes with anything he does. But that's just the way he's wired. Good, JP! Strong now! Strong! a boy. He's competitive, so that helps drive pushing our team in terms of uh, trying to excel. He's a highly organized, he's a highly motivated person. I think it, it, it's who he is. Don't all that dribble in the same spot. You're freaking not going anywhere. I don't mind you dribbling between your legs behind your back if you go somewhere. He could be fiery when he had to be. Yeah! And in his mind, it's always competition. So you can slash you over if you can. Good. Post up, Joel! I used to probably coach more by fear. Uh, you know, I was afraid of losing, which I probably still have. Uh, if you don't do it my way, I'm going to run you to death at the end of practice kind of thing. And now 
I try to get them to want it as badly as I do. Good. Keep going. Atta boy. That's good. That way, JP. seen a lot of basketball at North Carolina. As a student, as a high school coach, as an assistant. I've been in here five times. And every time I see something that I didn't see the time before. You want something to laugh at? That was when Wicked Wanda and I were in college. I even have my calculus book in my arm. Now that's funny. <laughs> I had black hair at one time in my life, as you can see. I remember getting the phone call from the athletic director of Hanover County Schools, saying that there was a player down there, that Laney, that uh, he thought had a chance to be a big time player. His name was Mike Jordan. We had five days with him. And the first Sunday night, I went back to Eddie Fogler, our other assistant. He said, did you see anybody today you liked? And I said, I think I saw the best six foot four inch high school player I've ever seen. You just look at this list of first team All-Americans and the great thing about it is that Tyler Hansbro was recruited by Sean May, who was recruited by Vince Carter, by Rasheed Wallace, by JR, by Brad, by Michael. So everybody plays here. They've all been recruited by Michael Jordan. 2005, in the locker room, it was our first national championship, uh, but to have Coach Smith in the locker room after the game was one of those special meetings. I told him, I said, Coach, uh, thank you. And he said, no, thank you. Pretty nice moment. You know, one time uh, somebody said that Coach Smith was loyal to a fault. And he said, well, you shouldn't be able to use those two words in the same sentence. Mm -hmm. And I had the best teacher. He told me one time, he said, on the court, we've got to do what's best for the team. Mm -hmm but off the court, we've got to do what's best for the individual. And he never varied from that. There was never a time where he tried to talk anybody into uh, not going to the NBA early. Mm -hmm. uh, anything like that. It was always what was best for the individual. And uh, he said one time, you know, he said, if we take care of the team on the court and we take care of the individual off the court, mm -hmm. we don't have anything else we need to do. How hard is it, I know it's self-induced pressure, but how hard is it to maintain yeah. the expectation level? Uh, there are the expectations, and, and they're always unrealistic. Mm -hmm. But uh, the stress that you put on yourself is much more than what somebody mm -hmm. else puts on you. You know, the first day, we're trying to prepare to win the whole thing. The very first day. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's a realistic goal. Sometimes it's not. But even if it's not, I've got to make my kids feel like it is mm -hmm. because we're in North Carolina. And so the first day, we're trying to prepare to be the best team. And I tell them, the people in this room are good enough to be there on that last Monday night. Wow. I can see that by the memorabilia, too, and the kind of kids you've turned out. Uh, you, you know, uh, you mentioned competitiveness. Mm -hmm. It gets your juices flowing, doesn't well, it? Well, it does. And, you know, with me is that uh, Steve Robinson's been with me. I think this is either his 19th or 20th year. Joe Holiday was with me for 20 years. Steve and I were going, walking to the office door, coming up from practice, and he's fiddling with his keys. And I got mine out and put it, and I said, beat you. He said, I didn't know it was a competition. I said, life is a competition every day. <laughs> it really is. It, <laughs> he seems I mean, back you know, He said, wow. Three point six miles. That way I can eat all those Krispy Kreme donuts on me. 
Some of us are tougher in this weather than others are. Some people have to have long pants on. Girl, what's that? Oh, God. You never hey. look right. We didn't even lose tonight. She was about to run over. <laughs> I worry about the state of my body and the state of my mind. All right, you ready? I like pushing myself. I like feeling at the end that I'm almost done. I don't know that it makes me look any better or feel any better, but I think I'm doing something. <laughs> oh, we got, we got no more left. No more left. sit back and think about how successful he's been and how hard he's worked, it is really amazing. When I played, you could tell he wanted to win a national championship more than anything. Everybody wanted to win for Coach Williams. He went to the Final Four four times at Kansas and got to the national championship game twice. He fell short both times. So there's a lot of pressure. He had been through some turmoil and some tough times. So seeing Coach win, that was a lot of fun. Obviously, he didn't need that to validate his career, but he wanted it. The next day, he started working again for the next one because he just, he just never stops. If he catches himself being satisfied, he'll be disappointed himself.